So now we will see how we can check if the number is a prime number in JavaScript. So guys, let us move to VS Code over here and simply we are going to create a new file under the programs folder in this case. So as you can see, we have this check prime number.js file over here. Now guys, what we will do is simply we will create a new function that is check prime. It is equal to and then we will write the arrow function over here, which is going to take one parameter that is number in this case. It is equal to and the greater than symbol in order to use the arrow function and then after this we are going to write the body of the function over here now guys how do we understand what is the prime number so guys basically a prime number is something which is not divisible by any other number so guys over here let me just write the description so we say not divisible by any other number so guys basically we have certain assumptions over here that is the number one and negative numbers are not prime numbers so guys first of all we will check this particular condition if the number is one or the number is any of the negative number then we have to return that number is not prime number so over here let us provide the condition that is if number is it equal to one or number is less than zero and instead of zero we can also provide less than one over here so simply we will say number less than one in this case since whatever number is less than one it is not a prime number over here so simply we are going to return the statement that is number is not prime this time so guys over here we have provided the statement that is number is not prime now guys after this if the number is greater than one then we need to go to the next step over here so simply we can provide the else part and then inside the open and close curly braces we have to write the logic so guys over here what will be the logic we have to go through the number that is 2 up to the number that is the number divided by 2 over here so simply we will say go from 2 up to number divided by 2 that is half of the number and then we have to divide this particular number that we are checking by all these numbers that we are going through so guys over here simply we will say for let i it is equal to 2 over here and then we will go to i less than or equal to number divided by 2 this time and then we have i plus plus over here so guys what exactly we are trying to do over here is basically we are going up to the half of that particular number because that can be the maximum limit up to which we need to check whether any of these numbers that we are going through is it dividing the number that we have passed over here if it is dividing then it is not a prime number so guys over here simply we will check whether this particular number that we are passing to the function is it divisible by the i variable so simply we will provide the modulus operator which is going to check the remainder of this division operation and then modulus operator followed by the i variable is it equal to zero which means one of the numbers that is we are going through the number two up to number divided by two if any of this number is dividing the actual number that we have passed over here and we are getting the remainder as zero then it is not a prime number so guys over here we need to provide one variable in this case simply we will say is prime over here notice that we are using the let keyword in order to declare the variable this time so that this particular variable is having the local scope within this particular function so guys over here by default we are going to say that the number passed is true in this case and if any of the number inside the i variable over here that we are going through the for loop if it is dividing the actual number that we are passing then we are going to say is prime is equal to false so guys over here we will say is prime it is equal to false and then guys after the end of the loop simply we are going to check what is the value inside the is prime so guys over here simply we will say if is prime in this case which means if it is true then we are going to say return number is prime over here so basically we will say number is prime and then inside the else part we will return the we will return the same statement that we had provided over here that is number is not prime so guys over here we say number is not prime this time so guys this is the way we can find whether the number is a prime number or not a prime number so when we save this file now and try running this code on the terminal by using the node command followed by the name of the javascript file over here as you can see there is no output because we are not calling this particular function right now with a specific number 
number over here so guys let me just provide the console.log statement this time and then let us provide the check prime function name and then let us provide the number that is one over here which is not a prime number as the parameter so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal as you can see we are getting number is not prime which is the correct answer if we provide any of the negative numbers over here so let us say we provide negative 12 so let us see whether this particular negative scenario is getting passed or not so when we run this code once again as you can see negative numbers are not prime and that is why we are getting this particular answer now guys let us say we provide the number 2 which is actually a prime number it is not divisible by any other number except 1 so guys this is the main condition the prime number is the number which is not divisible by any other number except 1 over here and that is what we have mentioned in this case so guys let me just save this file now let us see whether the number 2 is a prime number or not when we run this file as you can see number is prime over here for the number 2 when we provide 3 so again this number is not divisible by any other number it cannot be divided by 2 but it can be divided by 1 but that condition is an exception over here so it is again a prime number when we run this code once again so as you can see number 3 is a prime number what if the number is 4 this time so guys basically 4 can be divided by 2 so this should not be a prime number because it is divisible by other number so when we run this file as you can see number is not prime and when you provide 5 so 5 is a prime number so when we run this code as you can see number is prime what about the number 49 so guys we get 7 multiplied by 7 it is equal to 49 so this should not be a prime number so when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so it says number is not prime and what about 47 let us see what will be the output when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal it says number is prime over here so guys in this way you can simply write your logic that we have discussed in order to check whether the number is a prime number or not now guys apart from this let us say if the number is 51 what will be the output in this case whether it is a prime number or not comment in the comment section below let us see whether your answer is correct or not so please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about how to find the factorial of a number in javascript so stay tuned